Hello, I'm Dr. Maury Markman from Cancer Treatment Centers of America. I want to discuss a, a very interesting paper uh, recently appeared in the Journal of Clinical Oncology entitled Overall Survival with Maintenance Olaparib at a 10-year follow-up in patients with newly diagnosed advanced ovarian cancer and a BRCA mutation, the SOLO1 GOG 3004 trial. Of course, I think uh, many of you, in fact, most of you probably know the results of the SOLO1 study, which appeared in the New England Journal of Medicine a number of years ago, demonstrated the um, very impressive value of elaborate maintenance therapy in the short-term progression-free and overall survival of patients with advanced ovarian cancer, again, used in maintenance with a BRAC mutation. This particular paper, however, with a seven-year follow-up, begins to address the question, very importantly, of what about long-term follow-up? This particular trial was a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled study. Patients with newly advanced, advanced, newly diagnosed advanced ovarian cancer who achieved a clinical response and a documented black BRCA mutation that could be either be uh, germline or somatic, were randomized to elaborate maintenance at the completion of platinum-based chemotherapy or placebo. And the placebo or elaborate could be continued up to a maximum of two years. Some patients had the opportunity with the uh, agreement of the principal investigator of longer than two years, but basically two years of maintenance therapy with the laparib or placebo. And now this particular question of the long-term follow-up survival I was addressed in the, in the paper that I'm discussing now. The median duration of, of treatment on this trial with the laparib was uh, 24.6 months as anticipated based upon what I previously said about the anticipated duration of therapy and placebo 13.9 months. The median follow-up of this patient population was 88 months, longer than seven years. And the bottom line, at the seven-year follow-up, 67% of the patients who received a laparib, and the total sample size, the laparib-treated patients was 260, and of the placebo-treated patients, the total number was 131. So again, 67% of the elaborate treated patients were alive versus 46.5% of the placebo treated patients. Again, this is a maintenance phase. So there was basically a 20% higher absolute number of patients who were alive who received the elaborate versus placebo. Looked at another way at this particular point in time, seven year follow up. 45.3% of patients who had received the elaborate were alive and had not received a subsequent treatment regimen. In other words, they were alive, they were still on follow-up without getting another anti-cancer therapy. So 45.3%, almost half of the patients who received elaborate had not received any further therapy versus 20.6% of patient placebo who were alive and had not received any further therapy, essentially doubling. That is the placebo treated patients had half the probability of remaining without any further therapy. The elaborate treated patients, again, almost half had no further therapy at a follow-up of seven years. In addition, and very importantly, the study in long-term follow-up showed a very low risk of myelodysplastic syndrome, acute leukemia, which was a concern with PARP inhibitors. The risk remained very low. There were no new primaries or safety concerns with this long-term follow-up. This study, the long-term follow-up of solo one again emphasized, and this point, long-term follow-up survival data demonstrating the value of maintenance olaparib following an initial response to 
platinum-based chemotherapy in women with a BRCA mutation. No question, major value in this patient population. For those of you interested in this topic and the management of ovarian cancer, or patients who are interested in this particular family, interested in this particular question, I refer you to uh, this very important study uh, recently published in the Journal of Clinical Oncology. And I thank you for your attention. Thank you.